Welcome to this week's episode of 60 Seconds with the Superintendent. Well, as we talk about our growing diversity in our district, one of those areas that's continuously growing is the number of students that speak English as a second language. With over 30 different languages spoken in our school district, let's take a look at how we're working to support our students that come to our schools without knowing any English. So if I tell you that patience is a virtue... Do I think that as every year we continue to get more students with a large variety of languages, and not just different languages, but the level of their language. Some that can get by with a social conversation, but the academic knowledge is really the area that our English language learners will struggle. But this was created by students. Well, recently this year, we had a handful of students who had absolutely no English. And we wanted to find ways to help them get something out of their content area classes, history, and the sciences where they were struggling. And with the earbuds, I think it really helps them to have that understanding. When the teacher speaks, it goes directly into their language. And then they can also ask questions to the teacher if they don't understand something. So there's a communication. What we really want is for these kids to be leaving these classrooms, gaining knowledge that they can accomplish those content standards. With the earbuds, it helps so that it can, they can be taught it in their language, and then they can apply that knowledge. Well, for a long time, I've been using Google Translate for tests, but we never had something for when we did instruction in the class. And they came to me and asked me because I have a couple students in my course that need that extra help. So I volunteered because I, whatever can make it easier for the students to get the information that we're covering in class and make them more successful, I, I was definitely all in on. They're able to speak in the, in the language that they're comfortable with. And because they can speak in the language they're comfortable with to me, and it translates it to me in my ear, it makes them much more comfortable. And if they're comfortable, I think that they learn better. Over the years, we have increased the number of ELL students that have moved into the district. They're not learning because of the language barrier. These things are allowing us to reach them, and now they're having successes where before they weren't. And it was mainly just because of the language barrier between the teacher and the student. Well, this is another example of how we're helping each and every student in our school district to be successful. It starts with people, and sometimes technology adds that additional helping hand. As always, thanks for watching, and go make it a great Mustang week.